know. <laughs> and think and flow with the technology. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah. So, wow, what a weekend I had. How about you? I worked my butt off this weekend. I did? Good I did. Yeah, I did. And um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it uh, was such a be such beautiful fall weather we're having. I mean, all of a sudden it was like we go from summer to, to fall, like overnight. It's weird, huh? We'll probably go back to summer again. Yeah, we'll probably get a little Indian summer. We should, right? But uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I really feel that there's kind of um, a shift happening in the market, don't you? I mean, are you sensing that also? Well, what shift are you speaking of? Well, I mean, it, it's it, it's not. I it guess, sounds like you feel like it's getting busier. Um, well, no, I've been busy, but it just seems like buyers are afraid to pull the trigger on things. The buyers are really hesitant and afraid, mm. I, I feel. Um, I did have an offer come in on Leland. Oh, wow. That's but great. it was. Well, no, he's rejecting it. It's too well, long. At least you got one. That's at good. least I got one. Um, but uh, he's going to actually, if he can't, if we can't get it sold here in the next couple of weeks, he's actually put it back on for rent. Hmm. So he'll probably get it rented because the rental market is so, yeah, right, busy yeah. right now. I mean, people are are not afraid to rent. They're not they're not afraid to overpay for rent. <laughs> Because what he's asking for rent, I think you could own this property for less, actually. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Place, right. I mean, that's kind of um, what we're seeing happening. Is, is your downtown rental market come back? I mean, I see in the news that it seems like it's hotter than a firecracker, the rental market downtown. It, it never really went away. I really? Mean, yeah, the rental market. In even, the, during the, even during the 2020 with the George Floyd stuff? It, I thought yeah, I mean once once they were able to show property again like just even in those you know just like by May or June of 2020 it it took off and and George been, Floyd yeah. stuff happened it happened like June and like the summer of 2020 right was I'm talking about after the lockdown and you couldn't yeah. show property right you couldn't show rental buildings and they couldn't yeah but um yeah, but well, so that it, whole it, summer it, was weird because of lockdown and. Yeah, but the rental market came back before the sale market did downtown anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the sale market hasn't really, still hasn't really re come all the way back, has it? Not downtown, no. Yeah, mm -hmm. but no, the rental market and and within that, by the like fall of twenty twenty, it was already like higher than it had ever been, and it's really just climbed since then. So yeah. And it's really what since then? Climbed, yeah. It, it, it continued to climb. Yeah, pricing, yeah. For for rentals. Mm -hmm. Well, what about the 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 sale market? I mean, prices have declined downtown, haven't they? In the sale market, because I was talking to a friend who owns yeah, a it's been the opposite of the rental market. Yeah. What's that? It's been the opposite of the rental market. Correct. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I had, uh, you know, I've been holding uh, Leland open for the, like every weekend and um, I have literally in the last two, three weeks have had a half a dozen people stand there in that house and tell me how much they love it. <laughs> so where the heck are they? <laughs> and then we finally had an offer come in that Anyway, I mean, it's just, and, and I've got kind of a similar scenario with my new condo over in East Ravenswood. Um, we had, um, I've had three or four, because we had it on the coming soon platform and I've had some agents go over and show it and really interested asking me for condo docs and minutes and how much is in reserves. I mean, you know, the kinds of questions that people ask if they really are interested in the unit, right? And um, so I've, I've had like three different agents ask me for documents. Um, and I we had the open house yesterday. We had eight groups of people through there, half of which I feel like 
I mean, they spent almost an hour looking at the property. This is a thousand square feet. You know, how, how do you spend an hour looking at a thousand square foot property? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, the you know the verdict is still out on that, but I, I think if which if, which property is this? Uh, I have a, a new listing over in East Ravenswood at forty four forty five uh, North Polina. Right. Uh, a two bedroom, two bath, about a thousand square feet. It's a penthouse unit, top floor with roof rights. Um, it was such a beautiful day. It, I mean, it uh, it has like t over ten foot ceilings and. Um, we, we, you know, we just kind of out of habit, just turned all the lights on when we got there. Um, it has Southwest uh, exposure, so it gets light all day long, but um, we, uh, we turned the lights on. One of, the, one of the people that came through the open house asked us to turn the lights off. And you couldn't even tell, I mean, it was so bright in there, you couldn't tell that we'd shut the lights off. So we, we never bothered putting them back on because they didn't add anything. It was so bright. Yeah. I mean, really unusual, right? Yeah. And Leland is that way too, actually. Leland is so bright. I mean, it's like amazing, amazing yeah. the light that it gets. But did Erica do that one with you? She did. Oh, okay. Did Good. Is okay. she, you know, is she want, I don't know. I'm kind of at a point where I'm not sure I want to. Well, I don't know, whatever. We can talk about that. <laughs> we can talk about that offline, but um, yeah, it's- uh, You're saying we, that's maybe, that's the only reason I thought maybe she was doing that with you, yeah. Uh, Turquoise did Paulina with me yesterday. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So she so she, so she, she took the buyer leads. Um, okay, that's what we was, okay. That's, that's what we was, yeah. Uh, Erica did uh, my condo in Belmont Harbor. Right, right on Saturday. Um, we just dropped the price on that a little bit. Uh, and again, it's kind of the same thing. I've had people come through who seem, who love it, who seem really interested. They love the views, blah, blah, blah. They, but, you know. Where are the offers? Where are the offers, man? <laughs> Show me the money. Show me the money. Where are they? <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I, I think buyers candidly are, are making a mistake not pulling the trigger on stuff because I think prices have definitely softened. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's definitely more opportunity. I, feel. I think that downtown stuff is really a great deal because while everything else went up 20%, it went down 10%. So mm -hmm. you know, what you can get right now, you know, and that will, that will turn around, you know, that, and especially after, you know, most offices still aren't back full-time if, you know, mm -hmm. if at all. Um, well, your sister found a place, right? So she got it. She got an amazing deal, I think, didn't she? Well, like, I don't know. She, she, she paid what she had to, to get the exact unit she wanted in the right tier in the right building and the right, view so uh, but it seemed like a fair price though yeah, didn't seem yeah. like an right i mean yeah. doesn't seem like a, an uh an inflated price right but yeah i think um there's some she didn't pay over list yeah. she didn't pay over list price like she would have well maybe not downtown but but in the spring people were paying 50 hundred thousand dollars over list yeah yeah and that's definitely not the market we're in now of course, I never was. <laughs> you know, my downtown <laughs> stuff never was. Well, but, honestly, uh, I never was either. So, but uh, I mean, we're we are we are moving into what I call buyer season because um, this is when people want to get in get into their new home before the holidays, right? And um, uh, anyway, whatever. But I mean, and I don't see interest rates going going down at all. Yeah, they probably will. Oh. It's just a matter of time. What? What? I'm sure they will. It's just a matter of how long. Yeah. Well, I mean, not not in the foreseeable future. Yeah. I don't see interest rates going down. Actually, I had a mortgage broker reach out to me. He's got a program. I I don't have the details on this. I have to find out about it. But he has a program um, that you can um, actually buy down the rate temporarily. Not not a permanent buy down, but a temporary buy down, which mm -hmm. is kind the of Terrence interesting. Sent out? Hmm? The one that Terrence sent out. Uh, did Terrence send that out? No. Well, it was another broke. It was another mortgage broker. Um, is that what Terrence sent out? 
Is I he, think so. Yeah. You're on his mailing list. Mm -hmm. Of course. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> we've had, we've had him on these calls, right? Yeah, we we did them together for a while. Yeah. Yeah, we did them for together for a while. But anyway, yeah. Anyway, so what else is going on? You you got any fun shows or do anything fun over the weekend? Uh, no, it was pretty laid back. We were at, up at the house and got to go to the beach and stuff on Saturday. And Stump had band yesterday, so back downtown. But um, had some nice nice you had, fun, you had a fun event earlier in the week though over at the shakespeare theater right oh yeah the it was the pre-opening of the notebook the new musical and it, it was really good and uh we got to uh, got to meet ingrid michelson the the singer who wrote all the music for it and um all the producers and everything and a little private party afterwards it was great but um yeah it was uh it it's uh, I think kind of better than I expected and uh, the music is really nice and uh, wasn't really many dry eyes in the house <laughs> a few different points but uh, kind of like the movie I think but uh, I think they did a really nice job with it oh uh, nice is that out at Navy Pier then is mm -hmm. that where it's showing yeah uh, uh, it just opened on Friday uh, the actual opening I, I guess the public opening was on Friday um and but it looks like they've they'll, they'll they're probably taking it to broadway so yeah but i thought it was really good and it's the director that did originally did rent he also did dear evan hansen um so you know some really some big shows and uh it's got some good good people behind it oh nice yeah we uh um i had some friends from church who became clients who I sold a condo to next door at East Point. Um, um, the building formerly known as 60, what is it? 6101 East Sheridan, which is actually not on Sheridan. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. um, so the, the, they actually now have a new mailing address of 940 West Glenlight. They changed the address because it was so, there is a vintage building. Very confusing, yeah. Very confusing because they wanted a Sheridan Road address apparently when they built it, but uh, there is a vintage building, an Art Deco 1925 whatever building right on the corner of 6101 Sheridan, and then this is east of there, so it's 6101 East. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they call it East Point kind of, but they, uh, I sold them a unit in there in the spring and uh, they got a great deal on it actually, um, surprisingly considering that it was spring market they got they got a great price and they were able to take advantage of the great interest rates so they're a little they're happy little campers anyway they uh they invited us over for like a wine and cheese kind of housework mm -hmm. thing yeah nice so, to have some uh, friends close by then too That's it is nice to have some friends close by and uh people that we can try out some of the new restaurants in the neighborhood with oh, yeah. great. They, they were telling me about um regalia on Broadway, just south of the Whole Foods. So it would be maybe Broadway and Elmdale on the east side of Broadway. It's called a little, it just opened and they said it was really, really good. And even though it's kind of an Italian theme, it's it's much more diverse than that. I mean, mm. it's, a, it's a unique menu. So now I'm anxious to go try that out, Regalia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's next door to our sushi place called Indy. So we go to Indy for sushi and Indy actually, I mean, they, they not only have sushi, they have a whole, I mean, their menu is so huge. They, they have everything, yeah. <laughs> everything Asian, oh. <laughs> sushi, they have Thai, they have, they have ramen. They, I mean, they have everything Asian. <laughs> I'm saying I'm surprised that there's not more or any, uh, you know, the Asian noodles are so popular now and the ramen mm -hmm. and, all the different just kind of you know noodle dishes and they seem to kind of fit a lot of different diets and stuff um i'm surprised there's no real like fast food drive-through chains for that oh hmm. um, they're pro i think they're probably like a taco bell or a burger like like just hmm. a, a drive-through noodle place yeah yeah it's kind of a good point right yeah not I mean, the asians don't do drive-through I mean, think about it, right? 
you know, when I grew up in Oklahoma, we had it, but you know, we had like a local chain or whatever, but it was, it was, you know, like it was full drive through. Yeah. But it was full, you know, Asian menu. You know what I mean? I'm just talking about like, just like, but I mean, think about it. Sushi could totally be drive through. Yeah. But I was talking more of like noodle, like noodle houses. They're, they're two different things. Like in Japan, you never have sushi and noodles. It's like, no, 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 no. In fact, uh, when we were, yeah, in Japan, I mean, there's noodle shops on every corner. Everywhere. That's the like, main. Like hot dog stands. Yeah, that's here. the main, you know, I think everybody here thinks they eat sushi all, all day yeah, long. No. And, and that's, it's kind of a. The only time we ate sushi when we were in Japan is when we went down to the Skiji, uh fish market which was an amazing experience we were down there at seven in the morning when things started to open and eating sushi oh it was amazing <laughs> it was an amazing kind of a, a, an experience of a lifetime so really glad we did that but uh well let us know when you uh try the new regalia yeah 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 we'll have to try that and um and there's a um, there's a place called Severa, S-F-E-R-A, and it's uh, they market themselves as Sicilian street food. And mm -hmm. I guess they, they built up their business uh, primarily by going to farmer's markets, but they now have a brick and mortar place where you can go and, and get their food. And they do have, oh, that's what I wanted to tell you. <laughs> They they have vegan op they have vegan options. So have you read this month's uh, latest edition of American Lifestyle magazine? Uh, no, that's not the one I that's not the one of mine that's out. Um, no. Oh, you know I switched because I only do it four times a year now instead of six times a year. So I'm not getting every issue, but this is the one that just came out maybe last week. Okay. You just didn't mine, come out. Mine is the wall as a wallpaper article. The the main thing is a wallpaper article oh well i didn't get all the way through it there might be a because i might have changed paper it queen huh it's about the wallpaper queen oh but what's your point <laughs> well my po <laughs> my point is is that it's all vegan recipes in here this this month oh okay they have a they have a one pot um mac and cheese and they have a tofu scramble. And uh, what's the other one? Maybe that's what they have. Oh, ooh, these sound really good. Bake, bake peanut butter and jam oat bars. Peanut butter oat bars that you can eat like kind of a, a breakfast thing that you can grab on the go. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, so if anybody wants the recipes, reach out. I'll send you the recipe. <laughs> But that's what I wanted to tell you. And then cool. the, I don't see, I don't think there's a thing in here about wallpaper. Yeah, no, it's on the, it's on the cover of the one that mine. Well, no, but you can, you know, you can pick your own cover, you know. Mm -hmm. You knew that, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is it not, it's not this article, Designing Connections. No. Okay. Uh, the different magazine. Different magazine. <laughs> All right. And, and, the, and that's one that just came different out. Edition. Huh? For me, yeah, yeah. Okay. But it depends on when. It depends on what week you're in production about what comes out. So you're you're in production in a different week than I am. Yeah, but I and I'm also only getting it four times a year. Right. Right. You know, I changed it from six times to four times. But anyway, um, let let us know if you'd like the recipes or want to get on our mailing list for the magazine. We might consider adding you, we don't know. No guarantees. <laughs> Otherwise, have a good week, everybody. All right, bye everybody. Bye.